All right, time for our next community conversation. We are joined by Lauren Thomas, program manager with Common House. Hey there, Steve. All right, Casey, coming off a nice third place finish in the downtown Charlottesville flower box competition. Yeah. Congratulations. Love what that did to help bring downtown to life a little bit more. Absolutely. It was super fun. Um, tell us about your flowers and why these types of community initiatives help everybody along the way. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so our flowers and the pot were um, brought in by one of our members, Linda Hushin. And she, we're so grateful to her. She helped do all of that stuff She's for us. Thumb. She's our green thumb, <laughs> absolutely. Um, and elephant ear and Persian shield were the two flowers that were highlighted in that. Um, but these types of things are so important to Common House because community is at the core of everything that we do, uh, whether it be from our weekly programming to our local intentionally sourced menu. We want to bring people in to get to know each other and have a good time. Nice. Um, these events, just this is just one of events yeah. that you're participating in because you guys like to get involved. Um, let's take us through the summer and look ahead to what mm -hmm. else lies ahead for you guys. Yeah, for sure. Through the summer, we have pool days scheduled with Boar's Head, who we partner with a fair amount. We've got some floats down the Rivanna River with a cookout afterwards at Rivanna River Company. We have some networking happy hours, interest-specific happy hours, tech talks day parties, lots of live music on the roof. Um, so we're amping it up to looking to be a great That's summer. it? That's it, right, that's <laughs> it, nothing else. And talk about you guys getting involved with the community and what makes Common House an asset to the Charlottesville area. Sure, we like to think that we contribute to the vibrancy of downtown Charlottesville's community being a modern social club. Um, we give our members access and their guests access to weekly programming. Um, a space to co-work and hopefully a space to be themselves and have fun while they're at it. Uh, we also have a private event space that is open to any and everyone. And so we can host weddings, rehearsal dinners, birthday parties. What else? What else can you think of? Corporate events <laughs> uh, that are all tailored to a menu for your size, for the party's theme. Everything like so that. So it's a nice place to go relax, grab a bite or something to drink, but yes. it, it's more than just kind of a, a wind down place. Correct, absolutely. Um, how, and how much of the community involvement kind of, um, where does that rank in terms of taking precedence with what you guys hope to get done? Yeah, we hope to really be super involved in the community and that has us this summer also hosting more of what we call community connections, uh, bringing different community groups in for a happy hour um, where we, provide some things for them and just a place for people to see our space, but also connect with each other um, with, yeah, whatever their interest might be. Nice. It's all about who you know, what you do, and how you, more importantly, how you go about doing it. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming in. Thank you so Thanks much for, for having me. Casey.